Hello everyone, welcome back here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Tonight, I would love and be delighted to share with you on how to make very, very easy type of dish. So I'm going to cook baby tuna. So this is tulingan. So I got it, take out its uh, intestines and then wash it thoroughly. So I made some slit. So as long as you wash your fish, you're just fine. <laughs> Here at Larnie's Kitchen and Food Creations, simple way of doing kitchen stuff like cooking and baking. And there's a lot that you can learn from me. <laughs> Very simple and um, delicious type of cookings and bakings. And it's not complicated at all. Very accessible to the supermarket and pocket-wise friendly. So now my husband was looking at this ingredients and he asked me what are you going to cook i said this will be for your lunch tomorrow at work and so what is that are you going to cook iskabeche i said no i'm going to cook inununan or paksiuna tulingan tuli baby tuna fish he said huh he laughed at me because he knew that when you cook paksiu or inununan there's no tomatoes so i said well that's my style <laughs> and he said really are you cooking that i said yes so this is my very own way of doing because i have lots of tomatoes and i want to get rid of that so tomatoes will add savor into your paxil remember friends that different people they have their own different way of doing paxil this might be a little bit fancy to you because there's a lot of uh uh, spices here but you know whatever spices you have available in your pantry or in your refrigerator simply go ahead you don't really need it only gives you the idea that this is the way how i cook paxil but not all the time <laughs> okay so let's start now first i have here nice fresh roma tomatoes uh, just some ginger okay so these are white cooking onions you can use red cooking onions some chopped garlic and then liso sapaminta or um, peppercorns. I have to put that into my kalaha or kawali. So what are the savoring enhancer that I have? It's a combination of these four different kinds of items. I have here my patis, a little bit of patis or fish sauce, uh, white spiced vinegar or sukang maasim i have here my extra virgin olive oil whatever cooking oil you have simply you can always go ahead it's not necessarily that you have to use olive oil whatever <laughs> cooking oil so the reason why i will add some oil is to for my paksi to become moist a little bit of moist i have here my table salt so adding salt and pepper it depends upon your taste buds okay you might say oh that's too much actually it's not because the suka or the spice vinegar it's a lot it's so massive so i'm going to add spice vinegar there's some silly i'll have to okay there you go then after that i am going to add some olive oil maybe half a cup there you go okay there you go and patis or fish sauce so for the patis maybe five tablespoons of patis or fish sauce adding your salt and pepper or any seasoning it depends upon your taste buds okay there you go so after that wonderful friends i'm going to mix this so the green one is the green hot chilies. So I have to mix it properly until the salt, salt is dissolved. Just add a little bit more of patis. Okay. Okay, there you go. So I am going to add my garlic lots of garlic and some uh, white cooking onions and that's too much for you 
just add a little bit. The reason why I always like to take videos while I cook or bake, because I want um, to show it to my friends. Give It gives them the idea on what to prepare for their family's next meal. Okay, there you go. These are um, our ginger. And then lots and lots of tomatoes. In Paxil, in reality world, <laughs> Paxil or the Inununa doesn't really need to have tomatoes. But it will add savor into your fishing. Because tomatoes are a little bit sour and uh, sweet, so it, gave, it gives savor. You can add black pepper if you want. Okay, there you go. And after that, lovely friends, I am going to add my isda or my baby tulingan. So I'm going to dip that one. Make sure it is dipped into that suka or vinegar, spice vinegar. If you don't have spice ben vinegar, no need to worry. Then I'm going to cover tabuni ninyo sa inyong mga lamas. So... Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, friends. So, I have here my radish. So, I washed and peeled the radish. It's di dylon or daikon radish. Call it daikon. So, if you don't have radish, no need to worry. You can use okra. Talong, iba or balindi, you know, those are the good stuff that you can use. So, I'll have to cover this one, okay? So, I will cook that one for at least five minutes, okay? So, I'll turn on my flame or my heat. So, I'll set that for maybe five minutes. So my, I'll set my timer. For five minutes okay and set that aside and we'll try to get back after five minutes Okay, after five minutes, so I cancel my timer and come, let's check our fish. Now, it depends upon the size of your fish. If you think your fish is a little bit bigger, then you can always adjust the time in cooking. Okay, so now this is uh, how our fish looks like. There you go. Wow. Okay, now, after this wonderful friends, I'm going to add my radish or labanos. So, it depends upon the style or the cut or the slices you want to have in your radishes. So, I'm going to put this on top of my isda or my fish. Remember, if you don't have radish, you ran out of radish, you use okra or lady fingers. You can use even manga or green mangoes, green sour mangoes. You can use batong or uh, string beans. You know, use your resources. Talong or eggplant. So we're going to cover this and set this for another five minutes. So my timer, another five minutes. Remember, it depends upon the slices of your radish as well as the sizes, how big the fish that you have availability in cooking, I should say.
So at the same time, I'm going to cook rice. So before I go to sleep, I have something prepared for my husband going to work tomorrow. Wonderful friends, if you think you need more time in cooking your fish and in this kind of dish, you can always adjust your flame or your heat and add more minutes in the process of cooking your inununan or paksil. Okay, I have to cancel my timer. So it's done. So Come, we'll check our uh, paxil. Beautiful. <laughs> so I'd like to thank you, wonderful friends, for watching Laarni's Kitchen and Food Creations. As usual, stay tuned for more cookings and bakings here at my little kitchen. So this is done. So I hope that you will find some time cooking this for your family and friends and for some Filipino gathering. <laughs> okay, there you go. So this is very delicious. Our paksil or inununan, uh, isdang, tulingan, or baby tuna. Thank you. And this is your home cook buddy, a mom and a friend of yours, La Arni here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Stay tuned for more cookings and bakings. Okay, bye for now and have fun. So I have to turn off my heat now. Voila! Thank you. Dagang kaing salamat. So nanak ko'y pagkaon para sa akong forevermore. Ugma. <laughs> so this will serve as my husband's food for his lunch tomorrow at work. <laughs>